What do you need? Okay, guys. Welcome back! I don't know why OBS is having such troubles with this game, like, so that every time I start a stream I need to readjust it. Luckily it only takes me a couple of seconds, but hey! We're back with Baldur's Gate! It's been a little while! Uh, so, let's take a look at our journal. Right, okay, so, we're in the city of Baldur's Gate. We have taken out the doppelgangers that were in the Seven Suns, uh, Seven Suns trading facility, and we're doing that for the Flaming Fist, because Scar has hired us to, uh, look into some local concerns. Scar has also recently recommended that we go down into the sewers to check out these sewers, because people keep disappearing at night, and we suspect that some carrion crawlers have started taking people off and probably eating them down in the sewers, which is not great. So we'll be doing that soon. However, we also still have quite a few, quite a few <laughs> quests here in the city. And if I look at my map, the reason, oh, that's right. We're looking for, we're looking for uh, the Helm of Balderon. And we haven't found it yet. Yeah, so, okay. Um. Any battle against a mage always carries such a risk. Quinash, my beautiful fallen state, holds my cloak as a reminder of me. My helm I will trust only to my guile in hiding it. It rests where people rest, in a building that may as well have been named for the purpose. The cloak should be with it, but that would only be expected. I shall not take their theft easily. Okay, rereading this, I suddenly know exactly where this is. Tell me. And I feel silly for not remembering. Okay, um, Blade and Stars. I don't remember where Give this place straight. is. I've got this. But I know what we're looking for now. Let's see. Let's let's go back and see if we can find Yeah, no. What do you need? I've got this. Let's just kinda go map by map. Flushing Mermaid, Splurging Sturgeon. We finally found the Splurging Sturgeon last time. This. That was good. 
I'm guessing it's actually in the lower part of the city, so I'll check that after we look around here. Three old kegs. Yeah. You want Let's... it? You've got it. Let's try over here. Seven stars, general store. I've got this. We don't have this part of the map uncovered, so let's go ahead and and cover up here really quick. You have ye old in, which you might be like, ooh, is it in there? It's not. I know it's not in there. I know where it is. I just don't know where the tavern is. You want it? You've got it. Oh, there's the Iron Throne. <laughs> Move along, guys. Are you here? You want it? You've got it. Eh, no, not here. Mm. You want it? You've got it. Where is this dang tavern? Tavern in. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Here it is! The helm and cloak. Because, you know, of course, he it? says it's you named it. for the namesake, and he left a helmet and a cloak here. So let's go inside. I've got this. And let's go upstairs. Oh, this is the place that has these guys. Tell me. I've got this. Yeah, we've been in here before. These guys won't let us pass. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got past. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to step back. Please do so as I can only give so many warnings before I must enforce my request. City guard... Okay. Let's quick save. Give it to me. I've got this. Hello. Do you mind? I'm off to go shopping. The helm and cloak provides excellent service and quiet atmosphere. I do not wish to repay the house by getting blood on their carpets and disturbing the other guests. To this end, I wish you would retreat from my room before I call the house guards. Um, who are you to be so that you have guards posted at your door? I am Sarah, an emissary from the nation of Om, and I have been sent to this barbaric city to help bridge the misunderstandings between our two peoples. Now that you know of my importance, get out of my room. Okay. Oh man, I want to steal stuff Don't so worry bad. About me. I'm going to see if there's anything over here. We're going to see if we can avoid conflict with this lady. Come on, go back. Why, why are you going around? You're just being silly now. I've got All this. right. So we've been up that set of stairs, but I don't think we ever went up this set of stairs. And this should take us, hopefully, to where this helm and cloak are. Give it to me. You want it? You've got it. Ha ha ha! Behind this portrait, we've got something, something interesting. Let's check everything else first. Nothing. Oh, 
Oh! Yeah, yeah, I should have guessed that it would be trapped. But hey, I think we got it. We got there! Alright, the Helm of Balderon. The fabled Helm of Balderon, legendary founder of Baldur's Gate, has long been rumored to wield powerful protective magic. The exact nature of this magic, however, has not yet been determined. Equipped abilities, Thacko plus one, armor class plus one, saving throws plus one, hit points plus five, and protects against critical hits. Yeah, Sean and I are thinking after we finish um, both of our respective games, we're thinking of opening up the stream schedule to do some of the other streams that we've been talking about, like finishing up some Spyro and doing um, more Splatoon content and... Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Fragmentary Passage. Yep, and Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Fragmentary Passage and that kind of stuff. All right, now that we have the Helm of Balderon, let's see. My initial instinct is to give it to me, and we actually are just wearing a very basic helmet. So, hey, look at that. Look at how much it's going to help us out. Our Thacko's going to go down. Our armor class is going to go down. We're going to get more hit points. Oh, it's awesome. Yes. Mm. Worth all the hunting. Very much so. This is a very good item in this game. You want it, you've got it. And that being said, um, Boulder's Gate and Boulder's Gate 2 are very, very interesting and different beasts because you'll notice that in this game, the magical items that you get aren't like super duper overpowered. Or, you know, they might seem powerful now in the context of this game, but Tell like me. Boulder's Gate 2 raises the power levels really, really fast, really quickly, and it gets a little insane. So I'll be you happy to it. go You've to Boulder's it. Gate 2 um, when we get to that point and just show you how crazy things get. But but in this game, in, in Boulder's it Gate 1, it's like it. every it. single little item that you pick up counts, which is fun and interesting. All right, let's go back to this first area. What do you need? I've got and this. let me double check our inventory. Okay. I mostly wanted to Tell check me. our ammunition and make sure that we've got plenty of ammunition. But we're this. going to take a peek and look for a sewer grate like right here we're gonna start this whole sewers expedition Nature's servant awaits give it to me straight I've got this cool what do you need one. Cover your nose, boo. This place smells worse than the lodge. After a three-day feast, I know, I know. Did Minsk already say that? Yes, Minsk, he did. Well, it does, really. <laughs> Tell me. All right. So now we can begin I've got this. exploring the sewers. Oh! There's some of those carrion crawlers we were thinking were down here. Can I help you? And we might actually yes, switch. Give it to me figure. straight. Switch Khalid back to being ranged because these are narrow passageways. So the more long range people we have, the better. I've got this. Tell 
Tell me, I've got this. And luckily, with our boots of speed, we can kind of run our character forward a little bit and scout ahead straight. and see if we want to bring the whole party this way. Whoop! There's another guy. these carrying crawlers aren't too much of a hassle to, uh, now. We've dealt with enough of them at this point. They could still hold us. And that would be bad. Oh, looks like here we can continue on to the next map. But... I think we'll hold off and explore the rest of this map first. Yeah, so omnipotent authority figure. I love Jahira's sass. There's a reason she's my favorite. Oh, there's another one. Man, I would not be as brave as the adventurers if I was a, I would never go down in the sewers. I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. But B, if I was down in a dark, dank, smelly sewer and I saw a giant bug like that coming at me, nope. <laughs> Ogre mage, all right. So, some puny surface dwellers have come to their death. It'll be an extra treasure, treasure for my collection. My pets have been causing much anguish in your surface realms, haven't they? They've been so useful at collecting the surface pinklings. My pets use the flesh for food, and I get the pretty treasure. Well, I think we found uh, the cause of all of this trouble. My pets kill these intruders. The st stench. All the blood and these m m mangled bodies. I can't. Yeah, see, Khalid and I are on the same page here. <laughs> Steady now, Khalid. Tis revolting indeed, but you're not alone here, and you are not weak. I know you will not fail me. I I needed that, my love. And you are right. Let's p -p put an end to this horrible m monster. He must not be, s he must be stopped. I think not. All right. That call. Well, what do you think about a fireball? You've a task. And a wand of the heavens, which I don't think we've used yet. Maybe we have, but either way, wand of the heavens is really good. So what we're gonna try it out here. So we've got a couple of those now. Um, go ahead and buff you yourself. I bunch. You switch to this. You have need of me? Okay. Throw it, Dinah Hair. All right, I killed one of them. Whatever they need. Go ahead and throw in a glitter dust. Nature servant awaits. Jahir, go after this guy. Tell me. Let's talk more fight. Uh oh, Jahira got held. That's not good. Oh, we got held too. That's doubly not good. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Um. Emowyn. Use your minute meteors. Minute Meteors are awesome! I know this is the first time we've used these. They are great. Emowyn essentially gets little mini fireballs to use as her weapon. Come on. Yes! Go quickly! Yeah! 
The only problem with Minute Meteors is that they run out, I think she gets them for about like a minute of combat or about like 20 uses or something like that. I'd have to double check. But either way, they're really cool. But she only gets them for a very short amount of time. All right. Let's see if we can take this guy out. They wish my ear. Without any of our characters dying. Yeah, there we go. Fireball solves all problems. There we go. All right, just Give waiting it on. You want it? Come on, Jahira, make your save. There we go. What do you need? Tell me. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority. You've attacked. Perhaps this what you want? Is not quite as much help as I thought. Nature servant awaits. And that guy had a scimitar plus one. Which I know Jahira can use. Yeah, but she's better at using clubs. She's got two pips in that and only one in scimitar. And she has a pretty good club. Gives her the electrical resistance. Oh, that's right. Also gives her call lightning once per day. I need to remember she has that. <laughs> plus it counts as like a club plus two. So, centaur plus one. Neat, but it'll probably be sold. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. All right, well, now that we've taken care of that, ooh, ooh. Evil round every corner. Careful not to step in any. You said it, Tell means. me. You want it? You've got it. Yeah. Yeah. We can see they were feeding on a whole lot of guys down here. What is this? A spear. I don't remember picking this up. We can just drop this. Don't need that. Nice clean inventory, that's what I like to see. And we don't need this note anymore either. Give it to me straight. I've got this. Alright, already got that. Alright. says oil of speed. I feel like that's poison. I'm gonna throw that down on the ground. I don't do trust need? it. <laughs> don't worry about me. We're gonna see if we can carry any of these bodies back to the surface. Well, Minx might be able to carry two of them. Uh, probably not. Okay, so what we're gonna do instead... We're still gonna give them all to Minsk, but... I'm gonna find... Potion... Okay, we have a... Potion of Strength, that's not strong enough. Hill Giant Strength... Cloud, storm, 
Do we have anything between hill and cloud? Doesn't seem that way. All right. Minsk, drink this. All right, that makes him able to carry 500 pounds. Hundred eighty five, hundred eighty five. Yeah, Minsk is the only one who can carry Tell these me. guys. Okay. Give it to me straight. So I've got this. Let's try and take some of these bodies back up to the surface. Wait, Emowen, why are you slowed? Uh, girl, you can carry so little. Who's right next to you? Khalid? Take some of this so that she can walk properly. <laughs> there what we do you go. Need? Don't worry about me. Tell me. And that put us right here on this map. Okay. Don't worry about me. Take this over to Scar. Don't worry about me. And let him know what happened. I am a man of my word. It's good to see you again. How have things gone? We learned that an ogre mage holed up in the sewers was responsible for all the disappearances. He had several carrion crawlers that would steal out at night and carry off random victims. The crawlers used their harpless prey hapless prey as food, while the ogre mage took any valuables they might have. You've done a good job and earned your bonus in full. Do you have any of the items possessed by the ogre mage's victims? I'm sure their families would like to have something to remember their loved ones. We know for a fact the Sashin Star family lost a daughter to those creatures. She had a signet ring. A ring inset with a ruby. Uh, yes, we did, and we'll happily return it. Thank you for your honesty. I'll throw in a 3,000 gold bonus for the return of the items. Anyway, I'm going to need some people to do some investigating of the Iron Throne. I'm just going to finish up some paperwork and then I'll be just outside the main doors of the Flaming Fist compound. If you want to discuss the Iron Throne, just come talk to me there. All right. Give it to me straight. Sounds good. You didn't take either of these bodies. I thought you would take the bodies. I'm a little upset now. <laughs> How about instead of the, returning the items to the families, we return you their bodies? You've got it. Huh? What do you need? No? Okay, then. Well, back down into the sewers we go, I guess. Where's a good entrance? Somewhere around here. There we go. I've got this. Get over here, everyone. And as you can see here, we are in a completely different part of the sewers now. So, um, this this feels horrible, but Minx, just go ahead and drop those bodies. <laughs> Ah, whoa, hello. Schlompsa, the sewer king. Halt, oh, my children. We have guests among us. Ah, yes, I can sense you now. And your leader, the child of books you were. Ah, books are good. And a child of fate. He, I have heard of you, Tenille. I have heard your name whispered down these stony halls. 
where the drip of water mingles with the gurgling of the dead. They have wanted you dead, you know. Uh, who's wanted me dead? Have you? Who, Schlampsa? No, not I, not yet. But your death is so tempting, so no now, so near. I can almost taste it on you, child. Uh, what death do you taste upon me, Sewer King? A death foretold, a death planned for the gods themselves. He, but I'll not tell you more. Not Schlampsa, not the faithful Sewerkin, no. Uh, thank you, Schlampsa. Your prophecies are harsh, but the truth is not immutable. I shall face them as I can. Hee! I have told you enough, but I have not told you all. The sewers may claim you, Tenille, but I shall not. So, there we go. We don't even have to fight this guy. We can! We totally can if we wanted to. But we avoided conflict. Schlopsa gets to live another day! And hopefully, so do we. Alright, that'll take us to a new map. Let's not go that way. Let's see where Schlompsa came from. There is a old bathtub down here with a dead body in it. Awesome, great, I love it. Tell me, don't worry about me. Stop where you are, pale child. Uh, all your flesh, it's all green and alive and, and crawling. What has done this to you? Foolish one, you mistake. A shklopshi, a blessing for a curse. Shklopsh, what is this meager flesh? in the face of such terrific beauty. It is Schlampsa who has done this to me and you would be blessed should he grant you the same privilege. Ugh. Okay. Oh, hello spiders. That's a face spider. Cool, face spiders can teleport anywhere around the, the map if they want. Give it to me straight. And I see a whole den of spider eggs here. Go, go, that is go. nasty! Oh, Emmeline, honey, I don't know why you thought. No, 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 no. You were not a swords wielder. Okay. Yes, oh, omnipresent authority figure. Tell me. Emmeline. Hun, please, stay in the back. These sewer people are definitely pretty right. great. <laughs> yeah, this is not a nice hallway. Good for experience, especially with those phase spiders. Not great for Emmeline's health, though. Give it to me. Don't worry about me. Right, let's just do a little quick clear up here. Nothing down this hallway. What do you need? Good on that front. Oh, hello. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Ah! 
regular old huge spiders aren't a big deal. Take them out, no problem. I think they have a very, very low chance of poisoning us as well. If I saw that, I would definitely run away or light a fire down there. Ooh, yeah, burning the spider eggs. Ugh. Tell me, don't worry about me. Give it to me straight. Okay. What do you need? I've got this. I think we're Tell just me. about done with this map. Which means we can go on to a different one. More sewers. Oh! I spoke too soon. Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. Where are we here? Hello. Hey, no one's supposed to be down here. State your business before I have to give you to the beasts. Um. We're new recruits. We were told to have a look around, so that's what we're doing. Lying scum, there aren't any new recruits. Well, it was worth a what shot. What do you need? My blade will cut you down to size. Tell me, don't worry about me. Good on you if you save the day. Doop a doop a doop. I can't hey, win. I'm gone. Come up here and give it to me straight. Make sure I'm not don't worry about me. Opening anything that's trapped. Are we good? Cool. Eh, protection scrolls. I just don't trust them ever. I'm not even gonna bother picking them up. Well, fine, I'll pick them up. We could probably sell them for a decent amount of coin. What do you need? All right, let's find out where this basement is located. Hello. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. No time to chit chat. Out! Away! Fly while you can! There'll be madness here and I can stand it no longer. Uh, calm down and explain yourself, good sir, that I might understand you better. Calm down? Calm down while Cerebox acolytes practice their magic cacophony above me. I dare say not, stranger. I dare say not at all. Gather your party before Give it to me straight. Alright. So we can uh we can pretty safely say that we are in the Iron Throne basement here. Don't worry about me. And I say it's time for us to go back to force. the sewers. But I think that is important to note. So we're gonna do something we haven't actually done at all in this playthrough yet. And we're gonna make our own map marker. Whoops. Yes. Throne, there we go. Done, make it. No, why aren't you making it? Oh, there we go. I wasn't quite clicked on the map. There we go. Perfect. Now if we come back down here, we want a way into their basement. We Don't know exactly where it is. Oh, hello. For the fallen! Oh. Oh. My boy right. will cut you down to size. Team Claude has been treating us very well. Golden Deer House is best house. I've got this. And we found ourselves in a Tell ourselves me, in this. another 
new place. It is definitely not a sewer. Hi, friend. Hello, hello. Feel free to eat, drink, be merry, but kindly do so outside my office. If you wish to play the Little Lantern Rates, then you'll warrant a warmer welcome. This is the underseller, however, and though our prospect be somewhat cheaper, my company is not. Have a pleasant stay. Uh, I hear there's some pretty shady dealings that go on down here. Do you condone such behavior? I wouldn't be putting too much in stock into all the rumors you hear about my little place. Any establishment that serves the clientele that I do is likely to inspire a few tales, though I'd appreciate you not adding fuel to the fire. Good eve to you. Give it to me straight. So what we've essentially found down here, yeah, a lot of courtesans down here. And <laughs> what do you need? I've got this. We've essentially found a brothel. Sorry, sweetheart, but I've no time for play now. Must off, must pay off the boss man, or I lose my room privileges. Ah, oh, well, it's better than not having no roof at all. Although I do like watching the stars while I work. Can't have everything, I guess. Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance of such a cultured personage. Dark, dank, and oh so squalid. Mother would absolutely erupt if she found me here. Such filth and degradation. I love it. Tell me. Alright folks, if you want to enjoy the pleasures of the underseller, you gotta pay the 10 gold entrance fee. Uh, then all the black lotus and women you want is yours for the night. Uh, we just want to take a look around. Sorry, no money, no entry. I mean, I'm already inside. Fine, we'll be leaving now. Hey, pal, wait a second. Okay, you can take a look around and you don't have to pay the entrance fee. Just don't tell anyone about it. <laughs> So, even though it's only, a, like, a meagly ten coins, you don't even have to pay this guy to get in. Man, this place is big. But we can exit out of this way. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Please, you must save this from this wretched, wretched iron. Uh... Why shed such tears over a crisis that's far more political than personal? War is political, but it does not maim, but does it not maim husbands and kill sons? My husband rode the plow behind our horses until the rotten iron hitching broke. The horses bolted and the plow rose from the earth to overturn and catch my man beneath it. He was dragged 20 yards through rocky soil and is dying now, beyond the cleric's powers. A simple hitching broke and still you ask me while I weep. I'm sorry. Give it to me. Str I've got this. What do you need? Don't worry about me. Oh, I have a feeling the guards were called on us. Yeah, they were. Okay. See, we're not. We're not about that. That. What getting do you need? arrested life. <laughs> Don't worry about me. And none of that loot was good enough to warrant getting arrested for. Hello. Lars. Herb. I be Lars. You be Tenille. Don't try to deny it. You should not have come to Boulder's Gate. You've given many warning before, but you ignore them. Now you must pay. Sorry, but Lars must kill. Tis not the ogre I find frightening. Tis the presence of those who sent him. All right, let's let's see what we can haggle here. Oh, wait one moment, you big oaf. Why would you think that I'm Tenille? Do I look like I could be that kind of hero? 
Tennille is a juggernaut of destruction with flaming eyes and a roaring voice. My companions and I, we're just normal folk. Her? But you must be Tennille. We see picture, and it looked like you. They had no fire eyes or big voice, though pictures don't have voices. Hmm, I'm confused. Lars, my poor confused ogre, there's only one thing for you to do. You have to go back and take a better look at the picture. I'm sure once you've had a second look, you'll know what a big mistake you've made. Now, run along. We'll be waiting right here. Yes, good idea. Lars will find picture and see for sure. You wait here until Lars gets back. Yes, Boo, I'll ask. Tennille, do you have some apples? Boo says he's got this craving for apples, and... <laughs> no, Minsk, not now! Tennille, the human, die, die, die! Minsk! <laughs> Damn it, man! Why the long faces? Glorious battle awaits, and then I'll get Boo his apples. He can wait, you know. Go for the eyes, Boo! Go for the eyes! Ah! Oh. For right. Always Nina here, why did you switch to not using your sling? Tell that me. Is foolish. <laughs> well, honestly, Minsk, it's what you deserve. Give it to me straight. Drink potions. What do you need? I've got this. Use a wand of the heavens. Ouch. Why? Why did you? Oh. What do you need? All right. Well, let's try that again. I've got this. All right. Yep. 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 Mince gives us away. That called. Let's see. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. That's magic. This guy. Nature servant awaits. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Tell me. See if we can just blow him to smithereens before he gets a chance to hurt anyone. <laughs> Alright, well. He is only injured after all of that, so he still has about half of his health. Whatever they need. What you want? Let's do another round of magic missiles. Give it to me straight. You've attacked. Dang, this guy hits like a truck. That is not good. Not you. What do you need? I'll Don't tell you that much. Me. Tell me. All right. Let's buff up. Servant awaits. Give it to me. Don't worry about me. All right. Before he even talks to us, let's set up some of these spells. What you want? Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. What do you need? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, 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 here. Do you have a Nature servant awaits. Do it again. Get out of there. Yep. What 
Hit him! Hit him with everything we got! Can I help you? There we go! Is it possible to send this straight outside or something? Probably. I could probably do that, and it would probably it work. Straight. But, we got him! And he actually had some gauntlets, which are hopefully good. Hey, Bork. I've got this. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. How about you let us rest? Let's see what we got. Uh, Zern... Zarnosis second sword arm. Gauntlets of weapon skill. Gives us an additional Thacko plus one. That is pretty good. Who could use them most? You know, actually... This is better to go to Emmawin. Because she uses... Uh, ranged. We give this to Khalid. Perfect. Lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. Beautiful. All right. Now, where the heck are we? What do you need? I've got this. Yes. Oh, so much temptation. Tell me. You want it? You've got it. Ah, right. Emoin is encumbered again. There we go. I think this is just a gambling room. Just a bunch of gambling tables up here. I've got this. And that was the blushing mermaid. Which we hadn't been inside of yet. But hey, now that we're right outside the splurging sturgeon here. And it's getting close to being night. Give it to me, don't worry about me. Let's see if we can do is it this? No, that's the other Thieves Guild thing we need to do. Here we go. Arlene's heist. Yeah, meet Narlin Darkwalk by the Splurging Sturgeon Inn. The rest of the party must wait out of sight or Narlin will call the deal off. After we've met, we will go to the D. Mullenblade household where he and his partner, Radej, will go inside and I stand watch outside. If anything goes wrong, I am to call the alarm and run. No one is to be hurt, especially no city guards. If all goes well, we'll meet back at the Thieves Guild and plan another caper. What do you need? I've got this. Decency is refreshing. So many we meet are lacking. Tell me. No, actually. What I think we should probably do is take another rest here at the Blushing Mermaid. And it'll probably be the perfect time to try and do this heist. Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. <laughs> what do you need? Tell me. Let's see if we can heal our crew up.
Give it to me straight. Yes, oh, 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 Give it to me straight. What do you need? Don't worry about me. Hey, friend. Good to meet a fine sod such as yourself. All right. Tell me. We'll let the party want stay it. in there. I've got, it. I've got this. And let's go ahead. See if we can pull off this heist. There we go. Like the Duchess Nickers once, if you know what I mean. Now we're up to now we're up to the business. Keep to the shadows and the watch will be blind to our sneak. You spy the road while Redish and I plunder within. Be on be on your cautious cautions and yell the warning if you see the soldiermen. I'd no fighting them if I was you. Just call the call and make for the dark. If they give chase, you fade to the black and keep quiet. Never known a guard to spot a thief scared scared to hide and stand from here while the two of we off and in. We'll be back before the gold knows it's ours. Alright. Can do. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have any kind of potion of invisibility. So we'll just have to rely on my stealthing skills, which are not great if anything happens. Give it to me straight. What do you need? I serve the flaming fist. Hello. It's awfully late to be out and about, citizen. Why are you not at rest? Uh, well, I guess it's time to call off the heist. I would say no reason at all, sir. I'll just be on my way then. But that makes it sound like I'm abandoning them. So I think I just need to sound up the alarm. Hey, boys, the jig is up. Make for the dark. What? Stand your ground, you thief. To arms, to arms. Tell me. Yeah, um, can I hide? Hide in shadows. Give failed. it to me, don't worry Can't about me. Figure. I might not be sneaky, but I am fast. There we go. I could outrun him. And I'm not sure he's gonna be sticking around. There we go. Okay, I think he's gone. Oh no, he's not. Hi, hello, yes, I just want to get back to my party. Perfect. Alright, guys. I've got this. Back to the sewers we go. We'll go meet up with those guys back at the Thieves Guild in uh, after we explore more of the sewers. Let's try this direction. Let's see where this takes me. us. This is where we were first. So this is where we, yeah, this is where we first came in. Fantastic. 
You want it, you got it. I should mark that this leads to the undercellar. That's important to know. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. Oh! More carrying collars. Lovely. Dying here, no, darling. Point. Uh, go for the eyes, Boo. Go for the eyes. Ask! For right. And I there Squeaky we go. Wheel gets the kick. All right. I'm frozen, but I feel fairly confident in exploring the rest of these. Oh, you listen to the Twee Wee soundtrack. The Twee Wee soundtrack, so good. Definitely one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. Give it to me straight. I've got this. Man, this is definitely one of the bigger sewer maps. What do you need? I'm gonna see if there's anything it? down You've this hallway it. really quick. Oh no, character, don't do that. Stop. No, I want you to explore these hallways. Face spider. My character could probably take it out, maybe. Where'd it go? Oh, hello. Tell me. My blade will cut you down to size. Give it to me. You want it? You got it. And there it goes down to my party again, doesn't it? Yep. Let's talk more fight. They can take care of that. No! What do you need? I've got no! this. Unless, of course, Khalid McFrickin poisons himself. Drink this, darling. No! Are you kidding me? Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority. You've a task? Ah, oh, come on. Okay. I care not. No. Kill the stupid spider. Tell me. Give it to me straight. What do you need? I've got this. There's something most unnatural here, and I want no part of it. I'm with you there. I've never been a big fan of shooter games either. Splatoon was one of the first games, like, is like the only game of a, like, shooting kind of genre that has ever interested me at all. And I really love Splatoon. But other shooters I just can't get into. And we only we have this little hallway here, but I feel pretty confident that this nothing's there, so tell me. Nothing that way. It looks like we've got a bunch of dead ends. This doesn't even lead to another map. Neither does this one. Oh, 
Oh yes, Minsk is Pete the Cat. <laughs> yes, voiced by Jim Cummings. Alright, well that's this map, so I guess let's go back up here. See if we can find another direction to go. I am excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I... I'm ready to play another Pokemon game, because I know a lot of people are really burnt out on Pokemon recently with all the, like, newish Pokemon games that comes out, but actually the last Pokemon game I've played was Sun and Moon. So, like, I didn't play Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon or really any other Pokemon games that came out since then, so... Like, you I didn't beat Sun and Moon? Yeah, I did. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, I, I beat it, like, a year after it came out. Like, I picked it up and I played the first third of it, put it down, and then picked it up and finished it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm excited to play a Pokemon again. An open wound in Mother Earth. I would plug it had I the power. You want it? You've got it. All right, here we go. Now we have a new sewer map. And more dead bodies. Lovely. That leads to another map. If you had to pick any iteration of Pokemon games to skip, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon is probably the best. I mean, I've never really played any of the... Okay, my, my Pokemon gaming is very limited. I started playing Pokemon when Black and White came out. And so I played Black White. Huh, you're a queer fellow. One second, Emily. I'm talking about Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> I played Pokemon Black White. I've played um, X Y. So I played the next gen game, and then Sun Moon, and like that. That's it. That's literally it. That those are the three Pokemon games I've played. <laughs> Hey, Dina here. Got some free time? I thought thou dost not need to talk to me anymore. Huh? What you saying that for? Uh, never mind. I suppose it is better to listen to thine question, or I'll never have your curious inquisitions end. Yep, that's me, Emmelyn Persistent. So, I was wondering why you came all the way here to the Sword Coast. Nothing too interesting here. Well, there is Waterdeep, home of Elminster, but since most people don't get to meet them, it's not all that special. I suppose there are other places, like Skullport or such, and those might be interesting to visit. Although, some of these, although most of these places aren't exactly part of the coast. Quickly jumps in as Emowyn takes a breath. Thou shouldst know that there is much more to any area than meets the eye, but as the specific reason Minsk and I have traveled hither, it is that I needed to. Needed to, huh? Sounds kind of vague. You aren't trying to dodge me, are you? Wherever would thou... Wherever would I do such a thing? I have answered thine question. Make what thou wilt of it. I don't know. It really sounds like you're trying to dodge my question. Hey! You listening to me? Dino here! Hey, wait up! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> Give it to me, oh, I love the little interactions they have. It's so good. Hello, sewer cleaners. What are you doing Hello, down here? Pal. I mean, you know, now that I say that, that's probably pretty self-explanatory. They're probably cleaning the, the sewer. <sighs> shouldn't be down here. No, oh, wait, wait. You shouldn't be down here. Not safe if you don't know your way around. Probably can't stand the smell either. Hello, pal. Shouldn't be down and blah, 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 saying the same thing as the other guy, blah, blah. All right. What do you need? 
Tell me, you want it? You've got it. Jim Cummings is a legend. <laughs> Hello, rat child. I am rat child. I destroy all of those who oppose my pe oppose my people. Feel the wrath of rat child. Feel my wrath and tremble. Feel your wrath? By the gods, you're just a kobold. I think you might have a small mix-up on who should be trembling. Draw steel, my friends, and let's cut up these little dog men. You underestimate, rat child. You and friends shall pay for underestimation. Yip, yip, yip. And it turns out there's a lot of them. What now? Need your pantaloons pressed? Give it to me straight. They wish my ears. What you want? Hate to break it to y'all, but y'all are still just kobolds. You are kobolds with fire arrows. Certainly helps. What do you need? You want oh me, why? Tell me. You're not supposed to run into the fireballs. My blade will cut you down the side. You have need of me. All right. Give it to me straight. Go, go, go. There we go. Yeah, he was Shredder's Shredder in the uh, Ninja Turtles cartoon. What do you need? Tell me. Like Jim I Cummings don't. is a a huge. Give it to me straight. Uh, IMDb page. <laughs> Oh, there's still more of them. Go for the ice move. Go for the ice move. Oh, I thought really not in this. What do you need? Tell me. There we go. Now I think I got them all. Maybe. Okay, could go that way. Or that way. Lots of new maps. I really like the Pokemon in X and Y, but yeah, the, the story in X and Y is <laughs> really bad. But I mean, like, I don't play Pokemon for the story anyway, so whatever. After all, Pokemon XY introduces the best Pokemon ever to exist, Esper. So, you know. It automatically, uh, give it to me straight. automatically goes up a few pegs in, I've got this. in just that respect. done with the sewer map. Oh, hello, Ooze. I need aid. Lest my hands 
I've got this. Oh, more Go oozes. Yeah, Lumio City was really cool too. Too big. Huh? Too big. You don't like it? Too big. Okay. Had cool things in it, but it was way too big. Would have preferred if it was smaller. Mm -hmm. More more condensed. Indeed. My blade will cut you down to size. While it was huge, there wasn't actually a whole lot to do in it. You could rollerblade around. Perhaps yeah, but you could rollerblade around anywhere. As much help as I thought. Yeah, but I like rollerblading. <laughs> This map done. Now, where is this going to take us? Have we been here? We have. We cleared this map out. Sweet. I think we've just about seen most of the sewers. There might be a sewer map we're it. missing, but it. we've taken care of the, Give the biggest part of the sewers, which is good. Sewer people seem unfazed by the slimes. They're used to it. You want it? You've got it. All right, so let's take a look. Right, why don't we do this other Thieves Guild thing and then we can head back to the Thieves Guild. All right, we gotta go to the Oberan Estate and steal several magical components from the three daughters of Chandelar. Got it. What do you need? What map are we on? This one. All right. Don't worry about me. Head to the edge of the map, y'all. Let's head over here, because I think this is what we're looking for. It's not the Oberon Estate. I thought it was right over here. But I maybe this. I'm wrong. Excuse me. Please let me speak before you attack. Hello. I'm Lothander, partner of the assassin Merrick. I do not wish you harm. Ah, we got approached by him and Mark uh, last episode. They warned us that we should stop messing with the affairs of the Iron Throne. Uh, we'll give you a chance. Make it quick. My partner, Merrick, has poisoned you. While you slept, he slipped a few slow-acting magical poisons into your rations. You have about ten days to live. Common priest spells won't help you. Only one thing can, and that's the antidote. I can help you find it if you help me first. Well, all right, what do you want us to do? <laughs> My problem is this. I don't work for the Iron Throne because I wish to, but rather because I have been forced. I've been inspelled with a guise. If I do not obey everything that Merrick orders me to do, the spell will take effect and I will waste away. I need to find a way to rid myself of the spell. I know a diviner at the Market Square who may have the answers I seek, but I don't have the money to pay him. Will you help me? Well, if we have anything, we do have money, so. We'll help you. Take you. Take us to this diviner. Step in here to the diviner's tent. Tell me, I've got this. Alright, you guys wait here. 
Give it to me straight. Don't oh, worry about me. My life is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's voice line. This is where the diviner stays during the day. I'll wait here until you finish talking with her. Oh, my life is in shambles. Oh, my life is in shambles. <laughs> <laughs> I love a little sniff at the end of it. What do you need? You oh, want that's you great. If that ain't a mood, I don't know what is. Oh. I've got this. Knowledge used wisely is the most powerful of tools. You wish to hear the arcane knowledge of Hasper. It'll cost you 50 gold for the answers to your questions, no matter how small. Will you pay or will you leave? Uh, here's the money. I am for real. Now, what is it that you wish to know? I must tell you, I only have the strength to answer a single question a day, so be careful what you ask. I only have strength to answer a single question a day, huh? All right. So, who has the ability to release Lothander of his geese? Only the High Priestess Jalanatha Mistmire of Umberly. Oh, it's those dang Umberly priests again! Has the power to remove Lothander's geese. She can be found at the Water Queen's house. It is difficult to see whether or not she will help you. I cannot answer any more questions. You must leave now. Tell me. You My want life it? is You've in shambles. <laughs> uh, you should go see, go to the Water Queen's house. It is also known as the Temple of Emberly. I'll be at the Blade and Stars Inn. Meet me there when you found a way to reverse the geese. Ah, great. Now we have another inn to find. <laughs> Give it to me straight. <gasps> I'm so bad at remembering where those separate Don't inns are. Alright, am I sure that's not this place? Oberon's estate. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about Felonus Geist. Alright, we'll do a little quick what save. Need? I've got this. I wanna make sure. Let's pull plate. Tell me you want it? Steel. You've got it. Okay, no, we were in here before. That's this is not. You the want place. it? You've got it. Okay. Um, I do also want to say that this Lothander guy telling us that we've been poisoned and it, the poison will take effect in about 10 days and kill yep. us. That is actually true. You can actually really screw yourself over in this part of the game because if you do wait 10 in-game days, your main character will die. And if you've saved to a point where you do not have enough time to finish up this side quest and like reverse his geese and get the antidote and all that, like you're screwed. You've been poisoned, your character dies, the end. So you got you do have to take this quest somewhat seriously. Luckily, 10, 10 in-game days is quite a long time, so. So you do have plenty of time to uh, work around it. Yeah, it would suck a lot, but I mean, this is one of those old games that like takes things seriously like that and doesn't offer you a second chance. Yes, it would be very unfortunate. I don't mean to be rude, but why do you hate cities and towns so much? Yeah, I know you're a druid, but us humans and others gotta live somewhere, you know? It is not the fact that humans build towns and cities, but rather the manner in which they do so. Most humans construct their villages with little, if any, regard for the destruction of nature. Yeah, I guess you have a point there, but what can we do about that? Well, you can start by... Uh, later, when we get to an inn, I'm hungry and want to take a warm bath. <laughs> oh, Emmeline. Give it to me straight. You're such a charmer. I've got this. Yeah, there are realistic consequences. Mm. 
And you definitely don't get that in games very often anymore. So it is cool on that front. Whoop. No, come down here. You want it? You've got it. Back to the Water Queen's house. Alright, I mostly wanted the characters to walk down here to make sure no one interacted with us, but we're good. What do you need? I've got this. All right, Mistmir. Queen brooks no insolence. We have need of your powers. A companion of ours is cursed with a gi spell. We humbly ask that you remove it. I do not offer the power of my goddess to anyone. If you wish this favor, you will first have to do a favor for Umberly. Here we go. The favor I ask of you is a simple one. The holy day. Storm call approaches. It will be the first time I've overseen this ceremony. To ensure that my first ceremony is flawless, I need an item of power. It's called the Book of Wisdom, and it's possessed by the clergy of Timora at the Temple of Timora, called the Ladies Hall. Called the Ladies Hall by those who venerate the frivolous goddess. If you can get this book for me, I will do what you ask. What is your decision? You want us to give you a book of wisdom? <laughs> Fine. I don't care how you get the book. Once you have it, come to the temple and meet with me. Oh. Tell me. Okay. I've got this. Give it to me straight. Well, we know where the ladies' hall is. I've got this. So off we go. Oh yeah, tweaking with real time limits would be terrible. I would hate that. <laughs> what do you need? Uh, this is not not where I wanted to be. However, are any of these Oberon's estates? No. Okay. Don't worry about me. Right here. Oh, we're in the bottom of this map. We need to be up there. Don't right. worry I about I think me. I'll be able to just warp up there. But I'm curious as to what's down here. Probably not much. Okay. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. Yes, friend? Forgive me, but <clears throat> I have meditations to attend to. Welcome. Luck has seen fit to drop you in the lap of the lady, and she'll take good care of you indeed. Those who dare are always seen in the best light. We require but a small donation of coin for whatever you need. We're in desperate need of a book known as the Book of Wisdom. Please, we'll do anything if you just give it to us. The Book of Wisdom is a very holy book. Why should I give it to the likes of you? Uh, you must trust us. We'll die if we don't get this book. Please, we don't, you don't want our deaths on your conscience, do you? I cannot simply trust anyone who comes up to me with such stories. I apologize, but I cannot give you the book. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. I have meditations to what if we give you 500 gold? If you're willing to pay such large sums of money then you must be in dire need here take the book oh yeah sounds about right oh you made us drop the history of the dead three i don't like that now See, I don't want to give a book of wisdom to priest give of it to Umberly. Me straight. You want it? You've got it. That's like the last thing I want to do with the book. 
the first thing I want to do with the book is read it myself because I'm pretty sure that would up our wisdom by one stat, which would be nice. So I'm actually very, very curious if there is another way around this. What do you need? So I think what we're actually going to do is we're going to take a little break. I'm going to see if there's an alternative way around this uh, giving the priest a all-powerful book situation because I don't want to give an evil priest a super powerful awesome book but I also don't want to be poisoned in 10 days and die. So we're going to take a little break. I'm going to look up the solution to this problem and then we'll be back to it. So see you guys in just a little bit. My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure!
I prefer these long periods of relaxation. A lovely day for it. Shouldn't we be doing something useful with this time? My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure! Shouldn't we be doing something useful with this time? Shouldn't we be doing something useful with this time? Shouldn't we be doing something useful with this time? My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure! I prefer these long periods of relaxation. A lovely day for it. My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure! So many we need to Blacking. All right, we're back. Tell me. And I know exactly what it is we're going to do. At least, I have several options for what it is we're going to do. So first off, we're going to save, just in case this all goes sour. I've got this. And I hope you all liked their constant bickering they were doing because I decided not to pause. <laughs> Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. Hello. The bitch queen brooks no insolence. Yeah, I know. That's why I don't like you guys. Ah, so you've returned with the Book of Wisdom. Let me see it. We don't trust you. Before we show it to you, we want the cure for our friend's geese. You dare question my honor! Very well, the scroll is scripted with the incantation that will rid you of your friend's curse. Now give over the book! Actually, 
We don't have the book. Aren't you the fool? You'll pay for such impertinence. Yep, what do you we're need? just gonna be like, nah, he can't have it. So, they're gonna attack us. Don't you dare. She drops Tell a me. lot of gold. My blade will cut you down to size. Done and done. Oh, wait, no, nope, there's still another one. There we go. And that is how you get to have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot of money. Uh, some special leather armor. I need to pass some of these things off. Gee's removal scroll, fantastic. We'll also use this up, use up this book later. Main reason I'm okay with killing a temple full of priestesses is because, yet again, they serve an evil god. So, whatever, man. You've already been responsible for me. the death of a child. Like, we, we had to deal with you guys last stream Give it to because me you killed a kid for entering me. your temple. I don't feel bad about this at all. Alright, now the real question is where did he say he was at? He's at the Blade and Stars, I think. Which is not here. We need to double check. Um, mm, oh, yeah. This guy wants me to take him the helm of Balderon. That's not happening. There we go, American Lothander. Yeah, the Blade and Stars Inn. Okay. I've got this. Here. Do 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 do. Nope. Don't worry about me. There it is, Blade and Stars. I've got this. Hmm. You want it? Must be upstairs. There he is. I've got this. No, oh, my life is in shambles. Oh, so how do you fare? Do you have the geese, the curse for my geese? You have your cure. Now where's the antidote to the poison? All right then. Here's my half of the antidote. Merrick, my partner, possesses the other half of the antidote. You'll find him at the Blushing Mermaid Inn. I can't help you other than that. All right. So we have half. Lothander's potion appears to have no normal use, but we will hopefully learn of its true effect once combined with Merrick's half of the antidote. It's very possible that this is just discolored water. Awesome. Love it. Thank you. But he did tell us where Merrick is, so that's something. And more importantly than that, we leveled up. So...
Level up result, we got another priest spell, level three, and an additional five hit points. Sweet. Let's see. <laughs> Remove uh, paralysis. That seems like a good idea. All right. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. I've got this. I've got this. So let's finish this quest up and go over to the Blushing Mermaid. I think it's right here. Yep. Don't worry about me. We're kind of hurt, but hopefully Don't we can take down me. this Merrick guy. Where's he at? Probably upstairs, actually. Don't worry about me. There he is. Sup? Stupid saps. They'll never know what hit them. So you've come, I assume, to take the antidote. All you're going to accomplish is hasten your death, but I think that isn't the foremost worry you have at the moment. <laughs> you're a queer fellow. Whatever they mean. Tell me. Go for it. Yeah! Give it to me straight. For right. No, you don't. What do you need? <gasps> Ow! Why? Why? Why would you do that? Oh. Have I mentioned how much I hate the lightning spell? I really, you want it? really you hate it. Cool, but kicking for goodness. Sir, is good as done. Okay, uh, if none are better. Uh, this way. What do you need? I've got this. You point tall plate and packing steel. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. All Give right, it to me everyone. straight. Stupid saps. They'll never know what hit him. I think not. Let's hit him with one of these. Yes, oh omnipresent. As well as this. Oh great. He got his spell off. Ahaha! But so did Jahira, you fool. You're not going to cast any more spells now. The insect plague is so good. There we go. Alright, now so long as our party members don't attack the locals, we should be okay. We might be able to help them out with that. Come on, Dinah here. No, that didn't cool. help. Okay, most of the confusion is... Yes! Alright, we're good! They didn't attack anyone, want so we are good. Merrick's Potion of Antidote. And... He had some other goodies, too. 
Merrick's potion looks to have 10 uses, more powerful than a normal potion of antidote. This potion would neutralize even the most lethal of poisons. Special? Cures poison. Alright, so we want to make sure every single one of our party members gets a chance to drink it. Tell me. Cured of Merrick's poison. Merrick thought he could refuse to hand me the antidote that would save my life from poison. He should have had an antidote to save his own life from me. Yep. Let's talk more fight. See, and I don't... We're not getting any more experience or any more things in the dialogue box to say that like, oh, you're cured from the poison. So that makes me kind of worried that I'm wasting this cure-all here. But even if I am, it's fine. I would rather be sure that my party members are safe than potentially have them die of poisoning later on. You have need of me? There we go. And we still have four uses left, so that's nothing to sniff at. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think Lavender's uh, potion is completely useless. Identify this wand of paralyzation. It can stun targets. And we'll put that in her quick inventory slot. Ooh. Oh, all right. Doing a quick stretch. Let's see. What else? Oh, right. We still need to find that Oberon Give it state. to me straight. Don't worry about me. You want it? You've got it. Don't worry about me. That I'm not so sure where it is. Let's see, let's see. We old kegs. We also have Razamath's home here. Don't worry which about me. Have we gotten any kind of quest for that? No. But I want to go into Razamath's home anyway, because it's this giant blue and red tower here in the middle of the city. And uh, I think it's worth exploring. What do you need? So, uh, don't mind me. This. Just Tell breaking me. and entering. Let's go! So, nothing here. Now, don't can worry we about me. sleep? Nature servant awaits. We're honestly pretty bad Give it to me straight. What you need? Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Tell me. We cannot rest in here. Alright, that's not great. 
You want it, you got it. Oh, hello, Razamath. What are you doing out here? My secrets are mine alone. You know enough of me already. Uh, changed your mind, have you? The offer... Be good till I find someone. What is it I will be expected to do? My proposition is thus. I would have you enter into the home of a colleague of mine and effect the release... Oh, right. He's the guy who wanted us to... Uh, capture that nymph. Who we set free. Yeah, why not do it yourself? Nah. What do you need? Nah, fam. No, thank you. Alright, let's... Let's run down here to the three old kegs. I've got this. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Take a rest. You've attacked? Heal up our group. Tell me. Give it to me straight. What do you need? I've got this. And come back here and do another quick rest. There we go. All healed up and ready to go. Ready to climb a tower. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. My blade will cut you down to size. So now you can see why I wanted to heal before coming in here. As we go up this tower, there's just going to be more and more baddies for us to fight. And some of them can be pretty tough. The toughest thing about this, though, is that, as you can see, when we climbed the stairs and got up here to this next floor, our party members just kind of went all over the place in terms of placement. Luckily, Dinah Hair was still by here, by the stairs over here, and Khalid was kind of in front of Emmowyn. But we will probably not get as Tell lucky me. of party placement next time we go up the stairs. Oh, see you later, Silent Burb. Thanks for joining me. You want it? You've got it. Ah, see, like this. This sucks. We've got Khalid and Emowyn over here, all by themselves. Yep. This way. I'm gonna see if I can get Emowyn out of there. Give it to me straight. Yeah, that's not good. Nature as we direct. So here, get in there and shake your head. Back. there. Oh, that's not good, though. Hurry. Take them out. Ah, yeah. Not good. Oh, what do you then need? I forgot Don't to save up the me. first room. Alright. Take these slimes out again. Those were more like ghasts or ghouls, which are really nasty because they can both uh, hold you and disease you. Tell me. And if you're held, that means you can't move, you can't attack, you can't do anything. And if you're diseased, it makes you easier to hit and you're more likely to take more damage. Which is just all around Don't bad stuff. Me. So 
I think what we're gonna do before we go up to this next room is we're gonna go ahead and buff Give our Give it characters. to me straight. Let's put down a chant. And a bless. To give us better saving throws. You're a queer fellow. As well as make us go faster. And go ahead and do that so you're harder to hit. Who wants You point, I punch. <laughs> Yes. Whatever they need. Um. Here, do that. Yes, oh omnipresent authority figure. Shield yourself. What do you need? And do the same. And one last one. Strength of one. This will set all of our strength to uh, strength of eighteen. All right. One last save. Let's I go. Want it. You've got it. My blade will cut you around the side. See, and Evelyn's already. Ugh. Go, go, go! Why these guys suck? That's all right. We just saved. So. What do you need? Don't you can worry come in here me. again. Uh, can I I'll see if we can get these guys over here? Tell me. All right. All right. This is working better for us. As you can see, I move doubly fast because I have the boots of speed on, as well as having the speed spell from Emmeline. There we go. All right. We don't want to take long on each floor. We don't want our buffs to run out. Give it to me straight. Right. What do you need? Tell me. Uh. Oh, Emily's been poisoned. Take this and drink it. There we go. Let's talk more fight. Give it to me straight. You want it? You've got it. There we go. Alright. Quickly loot. What do you need? We're already starting to run out of those buffs we gave our characters. Tell me. Go for the up. All right. Uh. You have need of me? Oh, I give it to me straight. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. What do you need? Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. All right. More fire arrows. Good stuff. Got that saved. And let's go. Got it. And hey, we made it to the top. How many floors are there? Can't you go back and get more potions? I could. I could. But it is better, like, it's more time efficient to just do it all in one go. And it's not that difficult of a challenge, but it is enough that you want to just make sure your characters Tell are doing me. okay and are buffed you up. Want it? You've got it. So what have we got here at the top? We got some books, some books, books. Ha ha ha! Here we go. Some scrolls. They're called. As well as give it to. Don't worry about me. In here, you can get the rest of those. And we have another tome up here. Whatever. No less. What do you need? Lovely. You want it? You've got it. 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 Tell me. You want it? You've got it. 
Give it to me straight. Don't worry. Well, about we me. raided your house, guy. I hope you don't mind. Stole all your things. We can get a better view of the tower if we go up the map a bit. This place looks kind of fancy. I'm curious what's what in here. Need? Oops. You want it? You've got it. Tell there me. There we go. Hello. Give it to me Just straight. Some commoners. I've got, this. I've got this. Anyone mind if I loot upstairs? Uh, my inventory's full, so I can't pick that up. All right. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. Still not found that Oberon's estate. And I just want to make sure I'm not missing out. Cities you want are it? always mm -hmm. got so it. intimidating. There's so many people. Hey there, pal. If you're trying to get inside of the palace, you're out of luck. Common folk aren't allowed in there. Grand Dukes don't let no one in unless there's some sort of special event going on. Ah, the Ducal Palace. <laughs> Holy moly, if I hear you, you want it, you got it. One more time. <laughs> Let's see. Can we find... I really have no idea where this Oberon estate you want is. It? You've got it. Rage fast home. I've got this. Hmm. I really don't know where it's at. But, in the Don't meantime, me. Scar did tell us that we could talk to him about the Iron tell Throne me. shenanigans out here. So I think it's high time we do you that. You I am a man of my word. Hello, Tenille. I have another job for you. This one involves a group you've dealt with in the past, the Iron Throne. Duke Eltham himself wishes to speak to you about this. Will you come with me? Of course we'll come. Especially if, it's, especially if we have an audience with Grand Duke. Just follow me. I'll take you to the Flaming Fist compound. The Grand Duke is waiting for us. I mean, the Flaming Fist compound is right here, but all right. Sure. <laughs> I am a man of my word. Let me introduce you to Grand Duke Elton, one of the lords of the city, commander of the Flaming Fist, and member of the Lord's Alliance. I'm glad to see you've come. I know that such a meeting is unusual, but in these circumstances, it is necessary. I would first ask what involvement you have had with the merchant society known as the Iron Throne. We've learned that they're involved in a plot that threatens the stability of your city. From what I've been told, you've been quite the thorn in the side of the Iron Throne. I'm interested in you because of the obvious hatred that they hold for you. Their recent activities have been brought to my attention, and I'm very dubious about the intent of the throne. I think it's far too easy to blame the recent caravan raids and iron shortages on the Zentarum. Though the evidence does point to them, they do not have much to profit, while the Iron Throne has everything to gain. I have much to concern me right now, especially with tension rising between our city and the nation of Am. Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I cannot act against the Iron Throne until I have hard evidence of their wrongdoing. That, of course, is where you come in. I need a small group of spies to break into the Iron Throne headquarters and see if you can find any proof of the Throne's involvement with the caravan raids. If you do this for me, you'll be paid extremely well. 2,000 gold to divide amongst yourselves. What's your answer? We'd be honored. 
You made a wise decision. It's difficult. It is a difficult mission that I that I have to give you, but I'm sure you have the wherewithal to make it through. Return and report to me once you feel you have enough information to use against the Iron Throne. We'll be back as soon as possible. Give it to me straight. Don't worry about what me. What do you need? Dilos. What's your business here? Uh, 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 would, uh, let's start hiring right now. You want it? Over here. Got it. That, that's great. Now, Diana here is actually encumbered, so we need to give some of this stuff over. What we really need to do is we need to go to an inn and have M.O.N. identify all the You're things. Because there's a lot of things. Like, a lot, a lot of things. Monk sword plus one. Spear plus one. here take all of these you need to do some quick inventory management it's gotten a bit out of control there we go yeah and Emily is carrying way over her carrying capacity but can she identify any of these without actually using a spell ninjato plus one she can identify that's pretty cool um, of course she won't be able to identify these tombs without an identify spell. Leather armor plus one. Heart of the Golem plus two. There are no records of this weapon's creator. Nevertheless, its existence can be traced back among thieves and murderers to before the Dale Reckoning. Its blackened blade was apparently forged from the arcane metals of an iron golem, giving the weapon an appearance as dark as its history. 1d4 plus 2. That is really cool. Don't we have Emelyn able to use daggers? We do. So we might actually switch out her short sword for this. This is a pretty neat little dagger. Not that she uses melee a whole lot, but if she were, I'd rather she be using a cool weapon. <laughs> I feel like if we sold half of our gem scrolls and potions, we'd get a hundred thousand gold. I mean, you're probably not too far off. We do have a lot of stuff. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She needs seven identify spells. And is still carrying like way, way too much. Oh, geez. Khalid can't carry all that. There we go. Okay. What do you need? Don't worry about me. So, 
tavern and inn. General store, general store. Let's go to ye old inn. That sounds like a nice, friendly place. Don't you guys agree? Like, look at the architecture of this place. It looks swell. I'm not insinuating that anything bad will happen in this place at all by trying to say how nice it looks. I just think it looks great. Let's go inside. I'm sure nothing bad will happen at all. Leave this place. Oh, there be green slime rising, rising from the cellars. Flee while you uh, still can. go. I killed all the green slimes. Got a few commoners left alive to tell the tale. Whoa, one moment the barkeep was talking to the mage Razamath, then all of a sudden he's flaming mad. He summoned up all those slime creatures. Hideous things they were. So we were just at Razamir's tower. I get the feeling that this mage isn't very nice. Kind of wondering if we should try and take him on. Cause like, he just killed several me. citizens. So you know what? We're gonna go back up to this tower. We're gonna give Razmat a piece of our mind. I've got this. But we're gonna save before doing so because <laughs> I am nothing but a save scum. Hey, buddy. My secrets are mine alone. You know enough of me already. Yeah, my position's not changed. What if we just attacked you? For right. and I... Cool, we did it. His tower was crammed full of monsters. His tower was crammed full of monsters. He's been wanting us to steal a nymph for him to keep as his personal like slave prisoner and or do experiments on her so that he could like use bits of her body for magic potions or whatever and he potentially killed like a whole inn full of uh commoners just because he was mad at the barkeep like not a great guy do not feel bad about killing him at all plus we get four thousand experience points and a whole bunch of goodies. More stuff for Emowyn to identify. Anything she can identify just by looking at it? Nope, okay. All right, well, I think here, Will be as good a place as any for Emowyn to identify all this stuff. You want it? You've got it. So, Emowyn. You need like all of these you can get. Um. We'll give an extra few to Dinah here just in case we need more. He was a menace to society. Also, look at all these goodies. <laughs> yep, that's that's right. They're going to be much better off in our hands than in his. I mean, we're also a menace to society, but we're a good menace to society. I don't think you can argue with my reasoning there, right? Right. Let's see what we got here. The guard's ring plus two. It's a ring of protection plus two. 
with armor class plus two and saving throws plus two. So this is just an all around better version of Ring of the Princes plus one. So let's see. I can't wear it because of my magical armor. Uh, Mintz could replace the one that he has. Unfortunately, he can't wear both of them. They counteract each other with the whole magic thing. See, this uh, this item cannot be equipped due to other magical equipment you're currently wearing. So I would only replace the other ring he has. Um, Jahira also has one, and she has a minus six armor class. So it's probably not gonna go to her. Or Khalid. Let's see. Minsk technically has the worst armor class, so we're gonna give that to him. And I think we've officially run out of uses for magic rings plus one. Well. Diana here, can you wear this? No. Oh no, she can't because she's wearing a cloak plus one. Okay. Well, we can put that into Jahira's bag there. And let's see what this necklace does. The Amplifier. The Amulet of Metaspell Influence. Equipped abilities can memorize one extra second level wizard spell. That is good for either of our wizards. Uh, Emma Wynn's wearing a necklace plus one. So we could actually give her a ring plus one. Or Dinah here is not wearing a magical necklace at all. So. Da 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 da! And now she can learn an extra second level spell. Let's do. Let's see, what does Ghoul Touch do? When the caster completes this spell, a red glow encompasses her hand. When the wizard makes a successful melee attack against the creature, that creature is punched for 1d2 fist damage. That's not great. Uh, by means of this spell, the wizard creates a magical arrow that speeds to its target unerringly. The arrow has no attack or damage bonus, but inflicts 2d4 points of acid damage. There is no splash damage for every three levels of the caster. That does seem good. We'll use that. Bracers of AC7. I don't think this is going to be useful to anyone. That's just garbage. Short bow! Protector of the Dryads plus two, Eagle Bow. Thacko plus two, damage plus two, speed factor four. That seems really good. That might be exactly what we need. Switch Emowyn back over to a bow. She's gonna need arrows. And we can switch out our old bad sling for a sling plus one. So that's good. And we've got a ton of arrows. I've been wanting to switch Emma Win off slings anyway. Let's get rid of this other magical stuff. Oh, actually, Dinah here can identify this. Protection from acid. Cool. Put all of that stuff away. And protection from cold. Spear is a spear plus two. Mm -hmm. Thacko plus two, 1d6 plus two, 
Not a bad spear, but we don't really have anybody proficient in spears. Yeah, longsword, axe, longbow. Uh, yeah. Jahira would be the only one who I'd even consider it on, and she's not even proficient in spears. So definitely not. We'll be selling that. Knave's robe. Armor class plus one versus slashing, and save versus death plus one. I think. Yep, that's exactly what Dinah here has. Is this just another copy of that? Yep. And are we already out of identify spells? We are. Dinah here has one more. Oops. Identify this, please. Morningstar, plus one. Thacko, plus one. Duty, four. Plus one crushing. Nothing to write home about. And then let's rearrange these so she has her normal stuff back. Um, let's, let's just do two more magic missiles for her, and she's still going to need three identify spells, so we'll keep that, do that, and then magic missile it up. Give it to me straight. I've got this. One more rest for our party. Heavy crossbow of accuracy, the guide. Thacko, plus five. Damage, plus two. Speed factor, seven. Crossbow. This is actually a really good crossbow. And unfortunately, we don't have anybody who specializes in heavy crossbows. But if you did, this is a really good one to pick up. Um, there's actually a couple of really good crossbows in the game, but you kind of have to wait until late game to get them. Tome of Understanding. Wisdom will be raised by one point permanently. And... Tome of Clear Thought. Intelligence raised by one point permanently. Alright. We are going to use both of these on our main character. Because they aren't much use on the other characters because that won't carry over to other games. So we're going to go from a 13 intelligence to a 14 and a 17 wisdom to an 18. What do you need? Thank you. Love it. I have no idea what a good weapon is in this game. Basically, if it's magical and it is better than your old weapon, it's a good weapon. If it's magical and not cursed, you're you're probably looking at something pretty Tell good. Tell me. All right. You want it? You've got it. And we finally. Finally, got through all of that. Good stuff. So now, you want it? You've got it. I think it's time we do some shopping. So back to this first district we go. I've got this. This is definitely still this. the best place to shop. So Yes. Coming back in here. See what you have. Let's get rid of all this stuff we don't need. Ninjato, leather armor. Whew, just that gives us another, like, 8,500 gold. 
which is good stuff. Uh, not that. Nearly 3,000 gold there. And scimitar, spear, spear plus two. Get rid of that. Don't need the slog sword plus one. There we go. All right. That gives us some good spending cash. So let's grab more bolts plus one. We're just gonna get a whole bunch of them. Cause it's been a while since Jahira and I have had bullets. Give us some plus two. There we go. And we don't use bullets very often, so I'm not going to give us a whole bunch, but I do want enough that, like, we have some if we need it. We've also got some potions here we could buy if we wanted to. Potion of insight. Raises wisdom. And spells, man. Do love spells. Wands. Oof. We've already sold them a whole bunch of our stuff. All right. I think that might be it. Do we want to get any arrows? You know, we've got a bunch of gold, might as well use it. There we go. Now Emmowyn has some better arrows if she needs them. And Khalid needs to be restocked on arrows actually. That's good. Jahira, take those. Vince has very few arrows. Uh, let's give him these fire arrows to have just in case he needs them. I think I actually yes. want some more, more ammunition. Hmm, let's see. He unfortunately doesn't have just plain old arrows. We will take these arrows plus one. Take them. Lots and lots of arrows plus one. There we go. That gives us a decent stock. feeling good about this. Got to use that polymorph bolt sometime. I know, I know. What it's just want? there's so few uses of it. The wand of polymorphing. We, we got to find something good to use it on, but I want to make Give sure it it's something straight. that's not too good that's going to have like saves that just completely override it and so it doesn't work. Don't worry about me. 
We definitely, we gotta, we gotta try it at some point. I wish I knew where the stinking Oberon's place was, but I, I have this. no idea. Oberon's estate. Let's see. Let me look at the quest one more time and see if it says something like, oh, in the northwest corner of the city. Um, components. No, it doesn't say. I'm going to see if I can try talking to them again. And if that tells me it, where this it. estate is. Come on, y'all. Through the door. Let's go. You want it? You've got it. What do you need? No. Nalen. Don't there he is. Swipe the Duchess Nar Narland. Ones, if you know what I mean. We can talk to him again, because we helped him with his quest. Hey there! Good fortune you returned to us! We had to scramble down the alleys with no less than ten and four guards on... on our run and hides. Good call, that llama years. Would have caught us unknown otherwise without you. Had enough time to bail the room with gold in pocket. So we're 300 gold to Dibby. Not too bad a haul, but a mere pittance stacked aside next... Next dark... Dark's... Tarji? You in with us again? Uh, exciting work like none other. I'm raring for another grass but careless gold. Let's do it. Tis so for me and Rajesh. The mark tonight is a ripe plum for the picking with a might more dangerous. No petty gold, cause you passed that intro. This dark holds a jewel fence with some pretties brought stolen from Waterdeep. A mage with mega power called for a component gem called the Rogue Stone. Ooh, Rogue Stones do go for a lot of money actually. And Ganatoladin answered. His own be our target, but he be a sign more cagey than the last. We join at dusk by the blade and stars to sort the deed. Okay. We can do that. Tell me. Don't worry about me. So ha hey, guys, um My apologies, but no time for idle chatter. My apologies, but no time for idle chatter. You're not gonna apologies, talk to me. Apologies, but you must die. Uh. All right. Give it to me straight. They're not gonna tell us where we need to go. It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out ourselves. I've got this. Ooh, it is getting to be dusk. This. If we can make it over to the Blade and Stars quickly. We could go ahead and do the rest of the, or we could do the next part of this. Again, only the thief must be visible. All of the party members must wait out of line of sight. All right. Northeast corner of Central Boulder. <laughs> Jeez, where was the blade and stars? I don't remember where any of these taverns are. There's so many parts of the city. Nope. You want it? You got it. Common cloak, Quinn. Tavern and in. Nope. Don't worry about me. I've got this. Laden stars, where are you at? You want it? You've got it. You're not there. I know that much. Oh, there they are. Cool, I'm fat kicking for goodness. You guys go in there. What do you need? 
Tell me. Uh. I've got this. Swipe the Duchess knickers once, if you know what I mean. This dock will see how you are on the inside. Radej will spy the alley while you and I are searching the keep. Follow on to the door and be the picker. Once we're inside, get the gems, then we make for the guild. You won't be seeing much of me. I'll be keeping to the shadows. Okay. Have I mentioned to you guys before, I'm not much of a stealthy thief. I'm more of a stabby, stabby in your face kind of thief. Give it to me. I've got this. I can pick a lock, though. Very good at that. Yeah, no, I'm not interested in that. Up we go. I've got this. Do, 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 do. I bet this is where it is. And pick the lock. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> what? Who? Who's there? Meow. Oh, blast the cat. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Does it count as stealth if there's nobody left to notice? Oh, oh no, I waited around too long. Well, wait a minute, I don't know the cat, who's there? Uh, I'm gonna try this. I'm just, I'm a stray, go back to sleep. Shh. Uh, that makes sense. Good night, kitty. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> You want it, you've got it. All right. Did it, guys. What do you think? We good, right? When it's finished, we'll all meet back in the Thieves Guild. All right, sweet. So done and Two done. Point. Uh, let's talk more full plate and fucking steel. Makes sense. She could pass as a cat. I'm just a stray, guys. Don't worry about it. Shh. What do you need? Don't worry about me. <laughs> None of these happen houses happen to say anything, do they? No. All right. Well, while on my search. For places. I keep trying to find the stinking Oberon estate. Might have to check some of these areas we've not explored yet. I've got this. It's not gonna be there. of gameplay within the city being lost yeah pretty much as a kid actually like I played this game a lot as a kid I, I played a lot as an adult but the biggest hurdle for me as a kid was this game came out when I was like six or seven so reading comprehension was not high <laughs> uh, and Exploring Boulder's Gate was just like way too big and like a lot of reading to really understand where you're going. So, hey, Oberon's estate, we found it, fantastic. So, I actually yep. like 
I tended to restart my game once I hit Boulder's Gate, like all the time. Like I would play up until the point where I went into Boulder's Gate, and then I'd like save my character or I'd start the game over again because it's just like I, I couldn't do it. And this is one of many of several hurdles I had as a kid playing this game. And it's like, like as I got older, I was able to get further and further, but I actually never beat this game until I was an adult. Tell me. I care not. Anyway, this mission's supposed to be stealthy, so let's go ahead and use an invisibility. Give it to me straight. I've got this. On our main character here. What do you need? Oh, we already used up our invisibility. Whoops. Let's try that again. Cool. Squeaky wheel gets stuck. What do you need? Tell me. Don't worry about me. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. What you want? Amoin. Can you unlock I've this? I've done had enough of this. Come on, Emowyn. Yep. This way. Give it to me straight. All right. I might have already worry about me. screwed up how to do this. Yeah. I care not. Yeah. All right. Nature servant. Oh yes. Oh omnipresent. <laughs> Let's see if we have any potions of invisibility. Um. Oh, we do. We have three. Okay, we'll be fine. Oh yeah, I definitely, um, yeah, you say that, uh, at least you have fun times looking back and compared to now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, it's funny what now, look, looking back as a kid this. going like, wow, I couldn't figure out how to do this at all. And now, I've beaten this game several times, um, as an adult, but, like, this game was impossible. And, like, just, like, this huge hurdle to me as a kid. Tell me that I never thought it. I would be able You've to complete. Alright, they know I'm here, but they don't seem to care. We're gonna drink our invisibility potion and go I've upstairs. <laughs> I see you, mage. Oh, that's Oberon. Alright, I don't think we want to mess with him. These are his daughters, and they supposedly, this. supposedly have the stuff we need to take. Aha! Alright, that's what we need to grab. So we got it, we use our invisibility potion again, and we just say, bye bye girls! I've got this. You want it? And we leave. It, it would have been really nice to have story difficulty back then. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that was the thing, too, is, like, I grew up never knowing the end. Like, like how this story played out, and it drove me nuts. It was, like, this huge mystery that I really wanted to know. Like, Give it to me straight. You like, want who it? killed Garion? And, you know, what was the Iron Throne up to? But I was never able to, to beat it. All right, back to the Thieves' Guild we go. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. Ultimate cliffhanger. A cliffhanger that lasted well into my adult life. It was terrible. You want it? You've got it. And like, I could have just looked it up, but I didn't because I wanted to know firsthand. Don't worry about me. All right, let's go and take care of this quest first, because they've been waiting Tell even me. longer for it. Don't worry I'm about gonna me. I'm going to position my thief Your back point, here. I bowl plate and packing steel. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I've done had enough of that, this. Emily. Good what job. you want? I'm gone. You've attacked as you direct. 
C uh, can I help you? I'll do my best. They're called? As well as I can. Give it to me straight. I All right. This. Welcome, we my got your stuff. friends. Please relax and keep your weapons at your sides. Well done, if I do say so myself. A fine bit of burglary with no unnecessary attention brought to yourself. This is Resar, my Holranian, my Holran contact. He is well pleased and will now see to your reward. My apologies, but it was part of the agreement. Alatos was most reassuring in his description of your abilities. Right he was, and it is unfortunate I must close all loose ends. This includes potential loose tongues, and though talented, you are also expendable. I offer my sorrows, but you must die. All right, dude. That's nice and all, but that ain't gonna happen. Whatever they need. Cute that you think you can take us on, but... Yep. You are super dead. They wish my ear. I cannot. Yeah. Dead. What do you need? My you apologies. Want it? Got but it. no time for idle chatter. So you killed the whole Ren. Well, don't take it personally that I let him attack you. He was a powerful mage, and there was little I could do to dissuade him from killing you. Don't worry, you have full run of the guild, and if you're able if you're able to kill that mage, I'm sure that there's little my guild members can do to you. Again, accept my apologies for this entire incident. Uh-huh. Welcome, my little friends. Please That's relax. it? Alright. <laughs> keep your weapons at your sides. I think I prefer working with my buddy Narlin over here. Swipe the Duchess Nickers once, if you know what I mean. Well, snuck by any mate. Well, snuck by any measure. Uh, Gatlo then wakes us more, none the wiser, but all the more poor. All the guild will hear this and be, and ye be welcomed as brethren. Split the jemmies thrice, and tonight we suck the monkey a keg apiece, tavern wise. Uh, yeah. He disappeared. Did we finish the quest? Where is it? Where is it? Yes, it is. It's finished. I met Narlin back at the Thieves Guild and he was understandably happy. We successfully stole the gems uh, from the guy and have split this rich treasure between us. I get the feeling that I have proved myself worthy of the Guild's respect and been considered one of their own. Certainly this will help me in the future. Sweet. And instead we get some pearls. If we would have taken the rogue stone all to ourselves, that, I believe rogue stones sell for like 3,000 gold. They're a ridiculous amount of gold. Pearls are pretty pricey though, so the fact that we got some pearls um, to, to compensate, to split, like that's pretty good. All right. Yeah. You got anything to say? Oh, not take the beauty of the night with superfluous chatter. Don't worry about me. All right. So let's see. Out of quests that we have left, we have investigating the throne, Gaxir the seer. Um, senses overwrought, this empathetic, gaps in the informs me my future is hemmed in darkness. His predictions are less than surprising. In any event, he has asked me to bring him a sphene gem. Oh, right. Yeah, well, that's not a very important quest. That's fine. We've accepted a quest from a woman named Belbara who wants us to find a man named Yago. Yago has cursed Balbara's daughter to die, and we are to help Balbara undo this course by obtaining Yago's spellbook. When we find Yago at the Low Lantern, we are to meet Balbara at the Splurging Sturgeon when we are done. Right, the Low Lantern. I don't, I don't remember where that is. Um, uh, priest has passed on a strange warning regarding two necromancers. Right, we don't care about that. Okay. So, uh, the 
gauntlets. We're not taking back to the girl. She lost them. That's her own fault. Quinn's friend. A young gnome by the name of Quinn informs me that some ankheads have been causing havoc up river. Yep. Yep. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. Tell me. I've Aren't we poisoned? This. No, we already take we already took care of the whole poison situation. We found the guy who poisoned us, we killed him, and we stole the antidote back, and uh Give we're it all to me cured. Straight. So we're good on that front. Now wait, what what low lantern. That's what that other place is called. So I think that's the only other quest I've got I'm this. concerned about finishing it all but I don't know where the low lantern is at all and I'm kind of I've got this not too interested in exploring the whole city again trying to find it golden cloak I've got this oops Yes, we did find the helm. We found the helm. The helm was the helm of Balderon, which gave us a Thacko plus one, armor class plus one, saving throws plus one, hit points plus five, and protects against critical hits. Super awesome, so we put it on our what main do you character. Need? Don't worry about me. We've not been to, like, this side. And I don't know if we can. This group shows promise, exceptional. Yeah, I think that might just be the wall. I don't know that we can. You want it? You've got it. Yeah, because we entered from here, so I don't think we can be on that side. Although, that being said, don't worry about me. Never tried doing this, but can we go down this way? No, we can't. Okay. finally going to investigate the Iron Throne. We're gonna move the plot forward. It's been a while, but we're gonna do it. Unless I see the little lantern here. Iron Throne Headquarters. You want it? You've got it. One last thing and we'll just double check around here part of the map. We haven't took, taken a look at this building at all, but if we uh, come over here, we can see that this, maybe, can get a, yep, is the Harbor Master's building. But I think on this rainy, atmospheric night, let's go ahead and jump over here to the Iron Throne. All aboard the plot bus! Whoop whoop! Yeah, yeah, um, so your, your character alignment is something that you can choose at the beginning of the game. I chose Chaotic Good. And just because I chose Chaotic Good does not mean I have to play with an all-good party. I do have all-good party members. Jahir is like my quote, most quote-unquote evil as a true neutral character. But everyone else is like neutral good, lawful good, or chaotic good. Um, Tell me. And you essentially you can do good things or you can do bad things. And that affects your reputation. See, where's my reputation here and our reputation is heroic because we've done a lot of good things but if you do 
bad things, you will go down until your reputation is like deplorable or something like that. And that essentially means if you're like a good party or a bad party. If your reputation is high, you have good dreams um, every once in a while where your character gains a special ability that does something good. Like I've learned to cure wounds and um, slow poison and stuff like that. Yeah, Jahira's above good and evil, that's right. And if you have evil dreams for having a bad reputation, you will get abilities that do damage to others and stuff like that. Give it to so me anyway, straight. all that being said, let's got this. let's go in here to the Iron Throne. Don't worry about me. We were in here briefly when we were hey, roaming yeah. around the sewers. Welcome to the Iron Throne, Kavit Citadel. Would you please state what your business, what bring business brings you here? Um, let's see. Uh, we've business with your leaders. We've come from Sembia and are quite weary. So if you would just step aside, we would be grateful. We're not going to step aside for what is obviously a troop of brigands. Get out of here before we summon the flaming fist. Oh. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Sorry, dude. You work for the flaming fist, so... Or not the Flaming Fist, the Iron Throne. All my stuff is authentic. Really, it is. What's your business here? You're not here about obtaining iron shipments for your company, then you'd best do so elsewhere. We have no interest in dealing with other complaint with other companies. But All my stuff is authentic. Really, and he it just is. says the same thing. Alright. Well, mostly a lot of the last three streams aqua have been a lot of exploring but essentially if you've missed three streams then what you need to know is we flooded the cloakwood mine we've made it to the city of Baldur's gate where the iron throne who's been responsible for all the iron shortages and the bandit raids have uh their base of operations is in Baldur's gate so now we're finally exploring the iron throne compound and we're gonna get down to the bottom of this and see what we can find and confront them we need to bring evidence to the police, essentially, that the throne is behind all of this. So that's why we're here. I should have joined I've got army. this. Where do you think you're going? Uh, we could say the fifth floor Servok asked us to deliver an important message to his acolytes, or we could stay upstairs. Where do you think you're going? Somewhere far away, far away from the wise cracks like yourself, I hope. Guards, up the stairs. We have intruders. All right, and that's going to bring a whole bunch of guards, but I think Go we can take the these ice. guys. Go for the eyes! Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes! Got him. What do you need? You want it? You've got it. All right, and Whoa. Tell more me. guards. Oh, give it to me straight. Oh. Don't use your sling. Use your hammer, silly. What do you need? Go, go for go, the eyes. Go. go for the eyes. Run! For the fallen. Oh. My blade will cut you down to Tell size. Me. Use one of those special healing things I was just talking about on myself. I've got this. All right. Give it to me straight. Yep, we're breaking in their front door and killing them all. Don't worry about me. They can't tell me what to do. Hmm? Uh, I'm Tenille. Foster child of Garion. And I'm here to seek my revenge. You there. What are you doing here? I don't recognize you. Uh... We're, we'll try this again. 
We've business with your leaders. We've just come from Sembia and are quite weary, so if you'd just step aside, we'd be grateful. All of you all you are is a dead liar. <laughs> <laughs> I like that we're trying to lie our way past, but they're like, really? Oh, wait. Wait a moment. Could you please tell me where I could find Realitar? It's important that I speak to him. I've been given the runaround too long. Realitar's damn son, Saravok, seems to think he's in charge here. Uh... We don't have a clue, sorry. Damn it! Is anyone competent around here? Don't give me any lip, peasant. Do you know who I am? I don't, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. At last, someone who looks like they could you could be of some assistance. The assorted boobs and dimwits around here have been very little help. Okay, we're not gonna say this one, but I love this. I'm afraid you've mistaken us for someone else. I'm Dimwit, and this is my good friend Boob. And behind me, you'll find Brainless and Moron. How do you do? Of course. How may we assist you, ma'am? Ma'am this, ma'am that. I have little desire to suffer through more of your flat g gentility. You may call me Emissary Tar and direct me towards the nearest staircase. I have some important business to conduct on the fifth floor on behalf of the Grand Dukes. Me uh, emissary Tar, would it be untoward of me to inquire as to what the nature of your business on the fifth floor is? It is hardly a secret. The Grand Dukes have sent me to negotiate a new iron treaty with Thaldorn. It appears that the Merchants League and the Seven Sons have voluntarily granted the Iron Throne temporary control over the mines in order to simplify the city's supply structure and thereby strengthen the war effort. Should it come to that, I am here to ensure that we have access to that iron at a favorable price. The Iron Throne has been more than cooperative with us to date, and I doubt that they will ch change their tune now. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have no intention of being late for my negotiations. Um, okay. What do you need? Don't worry about me. Takes off sunglasses. Don't you know who I am? Tell me. <laughs> well, up we go. I've got this. Give it to me straight. Don't worry about me. What you want? Huh? What you want? Dentist Gurn. Hmm. Hello. You must be the city negotiators. Let me see on the list here. Emissary... Emissary Tar? Right on time and pleasure to meet you. My name's Dentist Gurn, Assistant Chief Accountant uh, for the Iron Thrones operation on the Sword Coast. Now, just a quick briefing on our negotiation procedures before you head up the stairs. Valdorn will be accompanied by a board of six Iron Throne advisors set, sent to us from abroad. Zalmanar, Cloudwolf, Gardash, Naman, Diab, Asim, and Ally. All of them quite respectable men and eager to meet you. We also have a seventh member on the board today, Mr. Lyle Espeggio. Espe Espejo. He is here to ensure that things go smoothly at this time of transition. As for the agenda, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the agenda, as you well know, there's a discussion of our current offer regarding iron prices and some notes regarding the output of the new mines we have acquired. Preceding all of that, however, Mr. Espejo would like to have a few words with you about the positive changes and Dianism, economics, and otherwise, that he has has been witness to in his recent travels through the Sword Coast region. I do not doubt that you'll find that interesting, but I have taken enough of your time. Please proceed up the stairs so the negotiations may begin. Oh, I'm getting a headache listening to this guy. 
I thought we left all those boring lectures at Candle Keep. Yeah. Okay. What do you need? Don't worry about me. We got any goodies? Let me just check every single one of your bookcases to see if they hold anything but books. Oh, they do. Go back. Lovely. Uh, merchant. Oh, did I get this one? I love money. Yes, I do. Thank you. You love money? Yes, you do? That's nice. I love money. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so Tell upstairs. Me. We've got some negotiations to do. That sounds nice. Give it to me straight. Nature. Let Servant me just. Awaits. Don't mind me. I'm just going to save. You want it? You've got it. You're the relative that steals all the silverware wherever you visit. <laughs> so you'll just can't help it, but pick stuff up. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, we've got, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, emissary Tar's up here. Uh oh. Diam. Sam. All right. Yeah, let's start negotiations. Well, if negotiations involve pointy swords and tossing spell, <laughs> I mean. Hmm. Fear my wrath for his great deed. Who dares intrude upon our negotiations? Uh, my name is Tennille. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions. Tennille, you say? Ah, yes. Saravak warned us you might try to meddle. That meddling will stop here, however. Uh, I'm quite sorry to have bothered you, really. Is this the exit? I'll just be going now. This is an exit of sorts, and you will indeed be leaving. I would hazard a guess that the situation shall be a bit more permanent than you would have liked. Long ago, you crossed the line that would have allowed you to, allowed your survival. So it has been ordained, so it shall come to pass. So command Saravok. And we see the Emissary Tar here is actually a doppelganger. So that's great. Let's talk more fight. Yes, O oh, omnipresent authority figure. Okay. There is a lot of these guys up here. So, first things first, try and cast You have need of me? Insect plague. Khalid, this condor is a plus three versus shapeshifters, which includes <gasps> Doppelgangers. So go ahead and equip that and yeah. run up and try and attack that doppelganger. Dyna hair. Throw a fire spell <laughs> over a queer here. Emowin. Use your meteors. Okay. Give it to me straight. Oh! Alright, we're just gonna kinda let this play out a little bit. And you can see, Dinah here did not just die. Because usually when they die, their portrait is here and it's grayed out. Dinah here got obliterated. If, you're, if any of your party members get obliterated or chunked, the other term for it, it means that you cannot bring them back to life. Other than going back and resetting your save. I just like letting this play out because this is one of the, those ridiculous fights. Oh, so there goes Khalid. Yeah, and, and pretty much everyone. Oh, Minsk automatically went into berserker mode to try and win the fight, but 
We're gonna load. I think as a kid, this was the farthest I ever got. Um, at, at a certain age. It took me a few years to get past this fight because this fight is insane. There is a lot of magic being thrown around and uh, it's hell. So we're going to prep a little bit. You're a queer fellow. Tell me. Whatever they need. Give it to me, please. Good on you if you save the day. All right, we're all saved. Don't worry about me. Buffed up. Let's go. Yeah, it looks insane, but I guess it makes sense considering it's their headquarters. Yeah. All right, so first things first, we're not Tell even going to wait for them to talk to us. We're going to start throwing out some you of our own talk? spells. They wish you do two of those. Dinah here's line of sight should allow her to throw this right away what you want uh, can i help you Khalid, I can, go ahead and switch try. to that weapon and stand over here yep. and emowin i care not Stand here. Enough of this. Cool one, Minsk. Switch to fire arrows. Will get your point. Switch I to bunch. fire arrows and attack emissary tar here. Go for the eyes, boo. Go for the eyes. Rask! All right. Let's try and have Diana here throw a slow on them so that they all move slower. Give it to me straight. And let's switch our gals here yes, oh, to attacking oh, up front. Jahira, try and cast your insect plague onto this guy. And Amelin, magic missile, this guy. Alright, the doppelganger is dead, and the doppelganger is the least of our worries. What do you need? So now that the doppelganger is dead, we're actually gonna have Khalid switch over to his sword, his plus two long sword. Minsk, go ahead and get in here. Swing your sword at this guy. There's Dinah here. See if he can cast another fireball here. Minsk, just come over here. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's really not great. Alright, who do I have control of? Dinah here. Oh, alright. Try throwing in a glitter dust. If they're blind, that's at least something. Okay. Um. 
These guys are near death. Unfortunately, I don't want to throw in another fireball because my party members are confused and running around like chickens with their heads cut off. So I don't want them to accidentally get caught up in the middle of a fireball. Let's just try some magic missiles. Do it again! Yes, I know you're very hurt, Jahira. Okay! One guy down! <laughs> One guy down! Dinah here, you're doing a good job. I might regret this, but... Oh, you know what? No, that just doesn't sound like a good idea. Try taking out this guy. Oh. Try and kill this guy. No! Oh, there goes Jahira. Tell me. We gained a few party members back. Oh, there goes Minsk. Alright. It's too many casualties. Let's try this again. What do we, need? we need to try, or we need to have a couple of other buffs. That'll hopefully Nature help us. Servant awaits. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. All right. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. We're going up again. What you want? Ammo in. Start throwing these at that guy. Yep. Okay. Is that good. Called? Let's throw in a glitter dust right away. Uh, can I help you? Switch to your sword. Go in. I think we're gonna yes, not try the fireballs this time around. And we're just gonna go in. Go in swinging. Give it to me straight. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Systematically try and take them out. One at a time. <laughs> You're a clear fellow. Amelin, now is not the time for normal arrows. Let's go in with some arrows plus two. Tell me. Right. And fire away. And let's not let them cast spells if we can help it. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we took out their, their one mage there. Oh, they have another mage back here. Oh, and that took out myself and Khalid. Alright. Alright, that took that guy out. Work on their archer. Dinah here. Emelyn. This guy's invisible, so we aren't going to be able to hit him. So you know what? Actually, I'm going to win. Dispel Invisibility. There we go. Hit him. That's good. Come on. 
Hello. We're so close. We lost Jahira. But. But. We did it. We can go resurrect Jahira. Oh boy. I prefer it if all my party members can make it through a fight in one piece. Would it be best to load from an earlier save? It would, but then we'd have to do this fight again. We can get Jahira back. We can go resurrect her. It just means that we'll have to carry all of her stuff between us and and take her to a temple. If you want, I can reload so that she never dies and we can try this fight again. But I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you think? Should we reload or should we just resurrect Jahira? We won't suffer any penalties or anything like that. It used to be that in the old version of the game, your party members would suffer a permanent constitution uh, hit for resurrecting them, which was really, really bad, but resurrect. All right. Give it to me straight. All right. We did it. You want it? You've got it. So now we've got to figure out a way to pick up all this stuff. They wish my ear. Dina here. Let's go ahead and pick up potions, gold, and scrolls. Yeah, you can see this is where Jahira's stuff is. Where's her cases? There we go. Oh no. It's very important we pick up her cases because otherwise we're not going to be able to do this. There we go. All right. Got a ring. Okay. Uh, yes? To me, go ahead and pick up some of this other magical stuff. I can, but try. And Jira's stuff. Let's talk more fight. Squeaky wheel gets the kick. Point. I uh, can I help you? There we go. He couldn't carry all of that. I'll do my best. Do we have everything? That scroll seems important. That called? Oh, another potion there. Okay. I think we grabbed everything. Hand this over to us. Poor Khalid watching his wife die. Yeah. I mean, Khalid's already scarred for life. Oh, wait, problems are going to be fun to manage. Yep. We're going to need to go to a temple right away. Scroll. I have a task for you and those you have selected. You, the first of the faithful, are to stand ground, ground in my stead. Be assured that I would not belittle your devotion with simple guard duty. This chore is of particular interest to me, and thus to you. 
Tenille has become a thorn in my side. I wish it removed. Do so, and you shall please me greatly. Such is your charge. Do not fail in this. Sarabok. The Saravok guy need? seems to have his own little personal cult of people following him. I've got this. Tell me, you want it? You've got it. Oh, and here we can see the body of the real emissary tar. So she got up here before us, and then they killed her and turned her into a doppelganger. Or I should say have a doppelganger took her place. Hello, who are you? Baldorn. Uh, hello, uh, I don't want any trouble. What are you doing here? Get out of this building before I call the guards. You can't do that until you answer some questions. You're here to kill me, aren't you? You can't kill me. Do you know who I am? I'm Thaldorn, one of the leaders of the Iron Throne. Where can we find the documents that will implicate your organization for its involvement with the bandit raids and the iron shortage. Tell us or die. Please don't hurt me. You can find everything you need with Railtar. He's the true leader of the operation. He always carries everything on his person. Am I free to go? If you tell us where the leaders of the Iron Throne are located, we might let you go free. The other leaders, Brunos and Rilatar, they're at Candlekeep, attending business with some benefactors from the south. Will you let me go now, please? Oh, do we let him go, or does he know too much? Ah! Uh... Oh, see you later, Scott. Have a good time at work. Um, you know too much. No, please let me live. You're still a dead man, Thaldorn, or wow, I've never seen such a complete lack of dignity. For giving us a, such a good show, you're free to go. Uh, you know what? No. Sorry, dude. Let's talk more fight. Mint, come in here and help me. Give it to me, so what do you need? There we go. Tell me. Don't worry about me. Oh, I'm running out of space. Cool, squeaky wheel gets the kick. Give it to me straight. You want it? You've got it. You have need of me? If none are better. Whatever then. As well as I can. Need more space. To carry all this junk. What Whoop. do you I've got? No, this. no, 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 no. Tell me. All right. Got more scrolls? Realitar, my superiors are intrigued by your proposal. I would like to discuss it further, but not through correspondence such as this. The Harpers and the Zents have been very active in this region as late, and it would be very unfortunate if they, tied, if they tried to disrupt an alliance between our two organizations. If you, Brunos, and Thaldorn were to meet us in the safety of Candlekeep, my superiors would be much relieved. Please send a response ASAP. Tooth. Father, I received your letter and I can assure you that the mercenaries led by Tenille will no longer trouble our operations. I've dealt with them personally. Before dying, they were most forthcoming in their revelations. It is as you surmised. They were agents of the Zentarum. No, we're not. We're also not dead. I am also writing to tell you that I cannot attend this meeting at Candlekeep. Some problems have arisen with the Chill and Black Talons. They've had trouble working with each other, and I'm needed to smooth over any uh, dissension. 
I am sorry I will not be at your side. Saravok. Saravok's a little punk liar. Lying to his dad. Give it to me straight. Granted, his dad doesn't seem all that nice either. He's still behind this whole operation. And if we go out here, we're actually on the very tip top of this building. It's a long way down. A fall might hurt a bit. And that's actually a sneaky little nod to the fact that at the very beginning of the game, we saw somebody die at the top of this tower. There was that cutscene where the big armored figure was holding the guy over the edge and said like, you'll die first, like, you're gonna be the first one to die. And he threw the guy off the thing and he splatted onto the pavement below. I've got this. So I think it's really cool that you can visit that place so much later in the game. All right, you want it? You've let's got it. go get Jahira resurrected. You want it? You've got it. Don't worry about me. I've got this. I guess this location has some gravitas. Exactly. He said, long live the king. Exactly. That's don't how I remember it going down. I don't know about you. You must gather your party before I serve forth. the flaming fist. Hello there, friends. May I have a word? Relax, I'm not here to hurt you. I know you've been attacked at almost every turn, but I'm an ally true and sure. Not well met, stranger. What news do you bring? I'm just an, an aide to Scar. His wish is that I keep an eye on you, though you seem more than capable of taking care of yourselves. I do think, however, that it would benefit, that you would benefit from a visit with him. He should await you at the Flaming Fist headquarters in the southwest corner of the city. If he's not there, just speak directly to Duke Elton. Sure. Good travels to you. I take my leave. Don't worry about me. Before that, though, we're gonna go to a temple. But Ladies Hall seems as good a temple as any. I've got this. You want it? You've got it. Forgive me, but I have meditations to attend to. Raise dead, please. Oh, we should have just spent the extra money on this. Well. a little money healing up our team. Could do this for free by sleeping, but I just want everybody all nice and healed up. All right, and let's give da er, Jahira her stuff back. There we go. And make sure she gets these things back too. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, we're doing just fine. What do you need? And now that she's back, we can level both her and Dinahara up. 
So Jahira gets another proficiency slot. Um, could put it in scimitar. Unfortunately, we can't do another in club. Could do another in sling. <laughs> Let's put another one in sling. This will probably be more beneficial because she's probably going to end up keeping that club that she has for the rest of the game. So club, sling, good stuff. And her Thacker reduced, and she gained seven hit points. That's great. Dyna hair. Thacker reduced by one, level two spell plus one, and two level four spells. Good, good stuff. Let's add another glitter dust. Ooh, we haven't had any level 4 spells yet. Let's do a Monster Summoning 2 and a Minor Globe of Invulnerability. Uh, Jahira leveled up before she died. Like, while we were fighting the guys, she, she got that level up. But then she died, so I didn't have a chance to level her up before then. So her, her points didn't reset or anything like that. She's all good. Tell me. I've got this. I'm curious now, what levels are our characters? Let's see. We're a level six and a level six. Minsk is level six. Six six also six. Ah, oh, Dine here is actually level seven. And Emowyn is a level six mage and a level four thief. And she's actually getting pretty close to level seven as well. So nice. Yeah, we're doing pretty good experience points wise. All right, Scar. We've got news. You want it? You've got it. Give it to me. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Guessing he's upstairs? Maybe with the Duke? Maybe we just need to talk to Duke. Where's Scar? Want it? You got Greetings, it. taxpayers. I am Duke Elter, commander of the Flaming Fist. Greetings, taxpayers. <laughs> I'm glad to have you back. So, what have you learned so far? We know that any incriminating evidence would be found with Relatar, the overall leader of the Iron Throne in Baldur's Gate. He's He's currently supposed to be at Candlekeep for some business. And there's only one thing to do. Travel to Candlekeep and learn what they're doing there. Whatever it is, it can't bode well for the fortunes of the city. Take this book. Without it, the Keeper of the Portal won't allow you entrance to the library. Here's also the reward money I'd promised you. We're going back to Candlekeep, guys! Your journey has come full circle. Duke Elton has asked that you travel back to Candlekeep where you must spy upon the leaders of the Iron Throne. While it troubles you that such evil men now make use of the Great Library, and you wish the circumstances of your visit would be different, it will still be a pleasure to return to your former home. What do you need? We did it. We... We're back home. We're back at Candlekeep. It has been forever since we've been here. But we're going to be going oh, back. Well in a tired mind. I'm yeah, me. I bet you guys are tired. But anyway, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, hold uh, off. Uh, I think much c c clearer with, with rest. Yes. Uh, might we stop? I know. We we, I, we actually that's exactly what I'm getting to, Khalid. Before the rest of you start saying how tired you are, 
we're gonna stop here and next stream we're gonna go back into candle keep we're gonna go back to candle keep we're gonna revisit our hometown talk to some of the the people there see how things have changed see how we've changed try and find this realtor guy and the incriminating evidence for the iron throne we're actually getting pretty close to the end of the game now um i wouldn't say that like we're not going to be finishing up the game next stream for sure but as far as the story goes there's not a whole whole lot more left we're we're getting close to the end and this next whole bit is some of my favorite parts of this game and i've got a lot of personal stories about growing up and and playing through this part specifically because this part's kind of nuts anyway <laughs> That's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this stream. And I can't wait to stream again next week. So see you guys later. Bye-bye!